everyone welcome to live stream number 60 today is tuesday it is the 19th of september 2017 thank you so much for taking the time to uh, to join uh this live stream if you're watching this you're watching the recording haven't quite gotten anybody uh, inside of the live stream yet down in the description area you will find my email address lars.christiansonarodes.com you're more than welcome to send me any um, topics you would like me to see to cover on these live streams. These live streams are kind of like 15, 30 minutes long, trying to add a little bit of Fusion 360 value. And today I got uh, a couple, two things I want to show you that I think is absolutely awesome. Um, and that is two learning centers, two learning portals, sources, two learning sources uh, that if you are trying to learn Fusion 360, you definitely need to know about. I can see where we got a bunch of people in here. We got Tommy, we got Bob, Ricardo, uh, Jacob, all of you guys in here. Thank you so much for taking the time to join the live stream. And again, if you're watching the recording, thank you so much. Don't forget, if you haven't already, we would love and really appreciate if you will subscribe to the channel. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about two pieces of content uh, that if you're trying to learn Fusion 360, it's two things I think you need to, to know about. So the first one is Autodesk themselves. Uh, my buddy Jamie uh, and his team have done a fantastic job refreshing kind of like all the learning content for learning Fusion 360. And they've done it in a really, really nice way. Um, you know, if you're like me, that you have tried to learn, you know, we've been learning s computer software for the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years. Um, the, in the software, there's always these tutorials, and I've always kind of like struggled my way through them. Well, let me show you this. So let's jump out to, uh, to Google. And by the way, I should also say, down in the description area, there is a, um, a link to my blog called Cat Cam Stuff. Uh, it's called kickcamstuff.com. You can find my blog down there. The two latest articles in there about these two things. So the first one I want to show you is I'm going to go out to Google, and I don't know, Amelia Hendis. I don't know where this thing is coming from. But I'm going to search Fusion 360 just right, right out of the bat. So Fusion 360. And if you go down here, you will find kind of like the overview page. That is kind of like the page where you down maybe you download a Fusion 360. If you go in here, there's something called support and learning, and there's a start here. And this stuff, I mean, even if you're seasoned, you need to know that this is in here. So what Jamie and his team have done, there's a ton of people to thank for this, is they've created kind of like this site, and it's broken down into usable things. So product development, mechanical assembly, tool path, and programming with CAM. Um, there is... Um, simulation and all this stuff and what happens is that if you click on one of these it will play an overview video i'm oh. not going to play through this here but this is where they kind of like are introducing themselves now if you go down and click on the start learning page you're taken out to uh the the customer adoption site and what these guys have done and give them all credit down here for each of them is that they have built up these lessons. So these lessons, this is really cool, guys. Um, they're broken down into mechanical assembly fundamentals. We're having product design, so like we're talking sculpting and things like that, what we were playing around with yesterday. Uh, if you're working with meshes, uh, Aaron did a fantastic one on 3D printing, additive manufacturing. Uh, Tim, Paul, and Marty have done a lot of work uh, with the cam. I can only take credit for some of the quick tips. Um, and what happens when you go in here, so let's click on one of these, is that these lessons plan are broken down into kind of like chapters, and it gives you how long they are. Uh, and you actually will end up having, when you're taking the lessons over here to the right, you will have a process uh on what you have taken so you're not going to come back here and forget uh what you so you're not start watching something you've already seen or on the flip side if it's something that you you know you i watched something and i can't remember what it was we'll show over here 
So if you go in here and you, for example, click on lesson four, you will see it's all video kind of based. But what it does in here, and you can see that I've been in here snoozing around because it shows you what of the lessons that I have actually watched. So I started watching lesson one of the basics of T-splines. Shows me this beginner level. Shows me here that it's uh, Michael and Jamie who are the authors. So you really get this great uh, way to look at this. And you can see that the, the lesson time is shown in here. So you can kind of like see what, you, what you're getting yourself uh, into. So you click on one of these um, videos, you will see that it, it shows you up here, create geometry, add faces. So it, it's almost like, like breaking each video down into the different segments that also shows in here on the video. So if you watch this one already and you're like, oh, there was the bridging I want, you can just, just click on that and it will if take you right 50%, to... We'll divide... Just going to silence Jamie here for a second. And it will take you right to that second where it's talking about bridging within within T-splines. And then underneath here, you will actually see that it has the whole talk track. So you can follow along if, um, if you want to. This here is absolutely the the best in-depth content I've seen. And the great thing about this is that they are adding more. So uh, as much as I appreciate you guys coming to my YouTube channel to watch this stuff, um, this here is really, really, really valuable. And again, just to take you, go to the, to the um, Fusion 360 main page. So this is like if you type in fusion360.com, and go to support and learning, start here, and that will take you to this portal. Now, um, you will be asked to sign in with your, with, keep on clicking on the video. Um, it will, you will be asked to sign in uh, with your Autodesk ID, the same one you're using uh, with, with Fusion. And, and the main reason for that is that the team because they're putting a lot of resources into this and they want to create more content. They want to find out where people are spending the time. So if they're seeing that, you know, everybody's watching, you know, about administration and, and how to sort their files, they can make sure that they attack that and create more and more content. This is absolutely uh, awesome uh, learning content. If you haven't checked it out yet, check it out. The second thing I want to talk about today is also learning content um, and really kind of like blown my mind. I've talked about uh, my friend Titan uh, Gilroy before on one of the, when I did one of these awesome Wednesday kind of things. Titan um, is, well, Titan is a lot of things. He owns a, a uh, machine shop, does a lot of high-end aerospace stuff in California. He did a, a TV series also that ran on MEV, uh, TV and I think some of the episodes are online. It's almost like I don't want to offend Titan, but it's almost like I look at it like American Chopper, but just machining instead. But yeah, I love that. But Titan have done something that uh, everybody needs to know about. Titan, uh, who's like one of these guys that you know uh, just buckles down and makes, I would say, things happen. I almost said another word you shouldn't say on TV. If any children are watching, uh, he makes stuff happen. So he have created something called Titan um, Academy. So if you search Titan and you type in Academy, you will get to uh, his website. Looks like this here. Um, and what he have done is, is absolutely cool. Uh, Titan have created, and I almost like, I'm going to start up here on these pages up here. Titan have sitting down with uh, one of his, his guys, um, and they have created hundreds of 3D models. So if you click on 3D models, uh, they have created so many models that I, it just blows my mind. So if you're looking for something to, to practice on, uh, the amount of models that are in here are absolutely breathtaking. And by the way, they are absolutely awesome. So you created all these models. Now, if you click on one of these models, let's click on this one here. 
it opens up this page and what it gives you is it gives you a difficult level of how hard this model is and it's actually opening up in uh, in our fusion viewer so you can actually spin the model around you can zoom in and out right so it's linked right out to to um to fusion 360 the web portal we we have you will see that you can download the model right here so if you click on that it's going to really take you right out to uh the fusion site here uh where you can click on the download button right here uh choose uh fusion archive and it will tell you to put in your email address and it will send you a link where you can download the model. That's one thing. And all of this I'm showing you today are completely free. There's no chance of any of all this. The other thing that is really cool is that he also had the drawing PDF. And I think a lot of people will be interested in that too, because that can kind of like, you know, if you want to practice um, with this, that is the perfect thing. You can get this drawing, you can print it out, and you can model up this part um, yourself uh, if you want to. Now, Titan, of course, didn't just stop there. Um, there is a bunch of videos how to set up a CNC machine. Like this guy goes to the point where this is how you put up a vice in your CNC machine. Um, you can see there's some of the TV episodes he created too. Then over here on the education side, he actually have a site where you can learn the CAD. Here, Titan uh, and his team will show you how to model up certain of these parts, uh, a bunch of these parts, inside of uh, Fusion 360. I mean, just look at all these videos that is uh, is created of all these awesome parts. Well, it'll take you through step by step. Um, and, and there's all kinds of stuff in here. Then you will also talk about how to program it with CAM um, in here. Same thing. And there's a lathe and there is a chess set if you have live tooling for your lathe. All this stuff in here created absolutely for free. You create an account and you can start downloading and look at all this stuff. And probably the thing that is the most awesome about this, before we jump into Fusion, I'm going to show you something. Um, the Probably what I think is the most cool about this is that Titan did something, you know, you know it when people are doing something that you are thinking, man, I wish I had thought about that. So he created all this educational stuff primarily for schools. But I mean, we are all in school here learning something. But what he did was he made like, I don't know, 10, 15 parts that can be cut out of the same piece of stock. So the schools, instead of the schools, and, and, and if you're a teacher trying to, to teach CAD and trying to teach a CAM, you're always struggling to try to find what should I have the students uh, make na next, right? And I have, I have, I've dealt with that. I've talked to some of the different teachers. They're always struggling about trying to find something good to, to have the students do. So what Titan did was he had like 10 pieces that the students can practice on and um, they can... Um, they can get it all out of the same piece of stock. So the school just have to order one piece of stock and they can make 10 different parts. I love it. Um, also, on top of that, go out to Facebook and search uh, Titans Academy because he created a Facebook page out there. And if you are looking for the place on the web where people are helping each other out the most when it comes to CAD and comes to CAM, I, right now, I would say it, there's a lot of forums out there. But right now, uh, Titans of Academy on Facebook is a place where people are really helping each other out. Um, you know, people are sharing what they're working on. It's, it's just a great, great thing. All right. So let's jump back into this. So um, two things out of this. We go back into our model here. So which one was it we grabbed? The 74 here. So two things. Um, in here, you can either, if you want to, if I should give you homework, you can do two things. You can either download um, here the drawing, the PDF, right? And then go ahead to drawing PDF and download that. Um, and you can, um, you can practice modeling this up in 3D inside of Fusion 360. But another thing you could do is you could go out and you can download the actually 
3D model. So click here, download, like I did before, takes you to A360, hit the download button. And then uh, when you download it to your computer, you can upload it into Fusion 360. So I did that. Bring the file in. So now you get in the data panel. And actually, I would probably create a new folder called Titans because I'm having a feeling that I'm going to be downloading a lot of different stuff from him. Um, and let's go in here and open up um, the drawing. Now, I wanted to keep this live stream somewhat short, uh, so I'm not going to do too much uh, in the drawing environment. But I just wanted to jump in there for a second just to show a couple of things. Um, but don't forget, down in the description area, I didn't leave a link to these two sites. I left a link to my blog, Cat Cam stuff. Uh, and there, the last two articles in that blog is um, is about the new learning portal and Titan of CNC. All right, so what I wanted to do was I just wanted to show a couple of things. So one thing is to take the PDF, like I talked about, and model this part up yourself. The other thing you could do was you could go and take the model and you could go into drawings and you could create a, uh, a drawing from it, right? So we could hit OK and it will open up uh, the drawing environment in here. So I just wanted to get kind of like started with that. So if we're looking at the PDF, you could either print this one out so you could hold on it. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple of things with the layout that's kind of interesting because if you're using ASME, the standard view, this will actually not come in quite like that. So let's do this as our original view, the top here. So let me jump into Fusion. So in here, you'll see that I, when you populate a drawing, you always get populated with the base view. Now I can change it to top. So then I get that view there. I'm just going to place it over here. And then I can go ahead and hit OK. And that's kind of like the first view. Let's go back and click on the drawing. That's that view kind of there. Now I want to show you something about the isometric view over here. So let me go back into Fusion. And I'm going to say I want to create another view. So that's called a projected view. The first one we did was a base view. Now we're going to create a projected view. I'm going to select that base view as I want to project. So if I click on that, if I drag down, I kind of like get that view. Um, if I go up, it goes the other way over like this. Now I want an isometric view. But what I notice when I go out in an angle is that I never get the same view as in Titan's drawing. So I'm going to move this one over. This is probably the closest to Titan. So let me just click on that and place that there. Now, when you place it, it gives you to place more. But I just want that one for right now. So I'm just going to hit Enter on my keyboard. That's going to make it all stick. And there is the view. Now, if we go back again, I'm trying to make this view over here. OK. Um, so the first thing I know is that it's supposed to be like a solid color. So I'm going to right click on our view and say edit view. And this little uh, drawing view comes up here. So I can make it solid by shading it. We're calling it in CAD. Hit shade it. Close that out. So now it's shaded. Now it's a different color. That's fine. But here's what I want to show you. We can actually go over here. We have a rotate. So we can click on that. And I can click on the view I want to rotate and then do a transform point, kind of like leaving where is it going to rotate about. And you can see how it's trying to snap. It doesn't really matter where I click. But now I can kind of like move that view, make sure that it's vertical, click again, and now I just got uh, that view. So that's kind of like trick number one uh, is you can move views around with the rotate button. Next thing I want to do is I want to create kind of like this uh, section view, it's called. You can see how right here it says section BB. So this is actually, a, if you're brand new to CAD, this is actually a cut through. I'm actually cutting right through the cup here and looking in from the side where the arrows are. So that is sitting right up here called section view. So you click on that and Look at next to my cursor, it's actually giving me a little information. It says, select the parent view that you want that section view from. So that's going to be this one. So I'm going to click on that. And then it says, specify start point of the section line. And if I hover up, it would actually show me 
kind of like a dotted line where it could section from. So I'm going to click right here and then it will give me kind of like this, um, I can section through here. So I'm going to section right through, uh, straight through the part. Now, my when I'm done that, it will actually let me continue. You can actually need multiple section lines, but I really just want like straight through here. So I'm going to hit enter. And depending, the software is smart enough to know that depending on where I'm dragging the part down is what direction the arrows should be in. So if I drag above it, the two A arrows are pointing down. If I'm dragging it down, the, the A arrows are pointing up what I want. So I'm just going to place uh, that view there. And I have now uh, created that uh, section view. Now, again, we can right click and we can go in and edit it. And you can see uh, we have all the, the different options in here where we can change uh, all different uh, kind of things. Now, you can actually project from a, a section view. So if we go back into our drawing, we now have this view. Now we're going to create this view. And that's actually kind of projected from this view. So inside of Fusion 360, I can just go and say, I want to create another projected view, click on the parent view. And as I'm dragging over, it will give me uh, that view there. Hit enter when you're done. And I have now kind of like created those uh, different views. From this point on, it's really uh, to start uh, laying everything out, uh, dimensioning uh, everything in Titan's drawings. He is kind of like using these staggered uh, dimensions, uh, ordinary T, I think that they're called. We also have those inside of Fusion. So you can just go over here, um, ordinate dimension, and we can place kind of like our zero, drag a line out, and you can kind of place all the, the different dimensions. Uh, but I hope that this, if you have not been in the drawing environment or you're thinking about getting in here, I hope that um, this here will kind of give you uh, the taste of maybe uh, going into the drawing view and playing around. And, and, and this is definitely a good way uh, to practice on this. So two things, Fusion 360, the new learning content that Jamie and his team have done, absolutely superb resource to have. Second of all, Go and check out Titans Academy. Like I said, all of this stuff is completely free for you. Um, and um, and you should check it out because you're always looking for models to model up. You're always looking for, for kind of like learning new and challenge yourself. And, and that is definitely the thing to do. So that's where I'm going to end uh, today's live stream. Um, I hope that this was useful. Um, tomorrow, I think we're going to dab her into some simulation maybe. It's about time that we start uh, doing an intro on some FEA uh, within uh, Fusion 360. We're going to start that tomorrow. And I think we're going to kind of like try to build on some of that. So like I said yesterday, Fridays are now our CAM day. Um, so we're going to start building on that and do more and more CAM. Um, and I think we're also going to get going with some, some simulation uh, in there too. So I hope this was useful. For all of you guys who took the time uh, through your busy day to joining today on the live stream, Really appreciate it. Uh, for all of you watching the recording, thank you so much. I'm going to do like I normally do, end the broadcast, go into the live stream, and say hi to everybody. Until the next time, have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much.